Guard, help me! Make vultures of men. Please, enter. Your good work has restored us to our former strength, Ezio. We are ready to strike. Just tell me what needs to be done, and I'll see that it is. You'll approach from above under the cover of night. Emilio has posted archers around the palazzo. Kill them, but do so quietly. As they fall, my men shall replace them. What about the guards? When you finish with the archers, we'll regroup in front of this building here. ...and discuss next steps. Nessun problema. I'll take care of the archers and return to you. Then it's settled. In Boca Lupo. you to move like that hey, Get but you! There! There! Get him! <laughs> Why are you... Eccolo! There! There! Agreed. Lead on. Let it not be said that. 
that noble Venice stood by and disasted her proudest citizens in their hour of need. Peasants are not allowed up here. Peasants are peace here. Venice. Whoever this assassin may be, he ripped the beautiful fabric of the... There! On him! I cannot it see. Seems quite well Get away! Get away. With God! Here! Don't lose him again! Which way did he go? Now! Move! Merda! On him! Leave me alone! Please! Leave me alone! He serves them! I want no part of this! I can't die! I'm beautiful! Adio, stai attento, capo. You shouldn't be off here. Aha! Laju, on here! Aha! Laju! On him! What a team, huh? Get down, stronzo! Get down from there! Ora! There he is! Laju! Get down! Down! Well done, Ezio. Everything is going according to plan. As we speak, my men are replacing the archers you've removed. The way to the palazzo is clear now. But not the building itself. Emilio's guards still patrol its border. Use my men. They can distract the guards, save you from having to fight. And when it comes time to storm the place, remember what I've taught you. Seek out, Oizio. We await word of your success.
That could be our land, then it's sure. better have a look. Be familiar. <laughs> <laughs> When you break the rules, we break you! Your little house of cards is crumbling, Emilio. A minor setback. It will be dealt with. This povero scemo Antonio and his thieves... Never mind them. It's the assassin you should be worried about. Why? Is... Is he in Venezia? He's been here for weeks. How could you be so blind? Unlike you, I've been busy. Someone had to provide the weapons to our brothers in Firenze. Yes. And we also went with that thing. Enough you, the he's there, what are you? Ah. Maestro has called the meeting. Three days from now at Santo Stefano. Very well. I'll be there. Assuming you still live. If you want my advice, I'd find a less conspicuous place to wait. Seta is a target now. Seta is a fortress. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> Emilio. Oh. What if he's right? You, call for my boat. It should be close. When it arrives, load those crates and prepare to sail. I'll be right back. If Carlos digs through, I must find a place to hide just until the meeting. Then we'll deal with the assassin. He must be working with Antonio. That means the attacks... No. Get down! I've worked too there. hard for this. <laughs>
world do they understand? There is so much less crime. The people have better lives. So some must... Guardia! Guardia! What's wrong? Ah, yes. You're still breathing. Do not be afraid. I feel no fear, assassin. Only regret. I sought unity. Stability. Order. At too great a cost. Progress demands sacrifice. Non trova alcuna gioia in questo. Ma non c'è altro modo. Requiescat in pace. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Come, let's open the gate for Antonio. Set has fallen and Emilio is no more. All thanks to you, Ezio. Go, tear down Emilio's banners. Return what he has stolen from the people. Tell him, Ezio. How can I repay you for your service? Money's always nice. Easy enough. What else? Emilio is meeting with a man named Carlo. He looked to be a government official. Do you know him? Carlo Grimaldi. He sits on the Council of Ten. Why do you ask? What are you up to? I have a meeting to attend. shall be offered as recompense for the truly industrious. <coughs> Stati attenti! We remind cittadini that restorative work on several of the city's bridges is ongoing. Please be patient and do not vent frustration caused by delays at the workmen themselves. I would, any. Hmm. Keeps him fit, I suppose. Darby, I have scores of good works from exciting young artists. Italian 
Where is Emilio? I told him to be here. You told him yourself? In person? Yes, myself, in person. I'm concerned that you don't trust me. As am I. Perhaps you'll arrive with the others. Walk with me. So, how go things in the palace? Honestly, it's difficult. Mocinigo keeps his circle close. I've tried to lay the groundwork, making suggestions. But he has other voices at his ears. Then you must work hard. You must become part of his inner circle. See, si, I understand. But it's harder than I expected. And why is that, Carlo? I don't know. He just... Uh, the Doge doesn't like me. I wonder why. It's not my fault. I keep trying to please him. I learn what he craves, and I have it delivered. The finest jams from the orchards of Sardinia. The newest fashions from Milano. Yes, and that's called being a sycophant. A what? What did you call me? A doormat. A flatterer. A bootlicker. Need I go on? Bastardo. You don't know what it's like. You don't understand the pressure in there. Oh, I don't understand pressure. Looking for a good time? No, you have no idea. You are a government official. I am two steps from the door himself. I am beside him day and night. You wish you could be where I am. Are you done? Hardly. You listen to me now. I am close. The Doge can be recruited to our cause. I'm sure of it. I just... I need a little more time. Time is not a thing we have in Rick's class. Keep moving. Is it much further? Don't be such a little girl. Buongiorno, cousin. Signor Carlo? We thought Emilio would be with you. Emilio is dead. What? How? The assassin. The same one who hunted down the Pazzi. He's here in Venezia. E così? Silvio, did you not know? He could be anywhere. He could be here right now and we might not even know. He struck Emilio inside his own palazzo. And so? What of our plans? There is no longer time for subtlety, my brothers. We must act now. But Marco, I am so close. A few more days, if I can just... No. It happens this week. We should keep moving. And what does the Spaniard have to say of this change of plan? You can ask him yourself soon enough. He's here? From Roma? So I've heard. Good. But perhaps he's made a decision. About what, cousin? Find thy wounds. About which of us no, shall step please. into the robes of the dog? I didn't know there was a decision to be made. Surely the choice is obvious to all. Obvious indeed. It should be the one who organized the entire operation. The one who came up with the idea of how to save this city. There is no lack of value in tactical intelligence, good Silvio. But it is wisdom one needs to rule. Do not think otherwise. Calma, calma, Amir. There's no need for this. You know it's not up to either of you. For all we know, 
And why not me? I'm the one who's done all the hard work. Basta! We wait for his arrival. Are you sure he's coming? Yes! Signori, we should move a little faster. I feel eyes on us. Please on. No time to chase. Must work. Thank you, Dante. We will move at your pace. This guard's a good find. We've got the fine How much did you pay for it? Perhaps not as much as he deserves. He saved my life on two occasions, though he's not much of a conversation. You look like you know how to have fun. Enough with your inane prattle. The choice of Dodger was never up to any of you, and you were never given permission to make plans. Forgive us, Maestro. We wish only to serve. The plan is this. Dodger Mochenigo will die tonight. And once that it's been done, Marco shall take his place. We ringrazio humilmente, Maestro. <coughs> Good. Messer Grimaldi, you are closest to Mocenico. You work the most vital. Serve us well, and it won't be forgotten. Walk with me. I don't want any blood spilled, you understand? It must appear to all that he goes quietly. Certo, Maestro. When are you closest? I have full run of the palace. He may not care to hear what I have to say, but he trusts me by now as I one of his own. <laughs> then I want you to infiltrate the kitchen and poison his meal. So be it. Marco, can you furnish us with a suitable toxin on short notice? I defer to my cousin. That is really his area of expertise. Ah, Silvio. I am at your service, Maestro. What can you bring to get this done? I will confer with my associates in the streets, but chances are good that I can procure some cantarelle. Come on, Jim. Yes, what is that? It is a most effective form of arsenic and difficult to trace. But we'll see you later. Uh, uh, you you like you need then it's decided. What now? In fact, you had everything for your lot. Terrified you rabbit. I'm finding you offensive enough to find. Sometimes you just need to see borders. to collaborate and bring him to an end. Forgive me, Maestro, but is this not perhaps a tad dangerous for you, involving yourself so intimately with the minutiae of our plans? I feel the need to involve myself more directly. The Pachi disappointed us in Firenze. I pray you will not do the same. Do not worry this time. The Pazzi were a bunch of foolish... The Pazzis were a potent and venerable family, reduced to rubble by one young assassin. Do not underestimate this troublesome foe who now haunts your city. Or the same fate will befall the Barbarico. I want this done promptly. Bene, I must return to Roma. Time is of the essence. Do not fail us. Che 
idiota sono. I should have kept my eyes on them. I need to go and see Antonio if I have any hope of salvaging this mess I've made. seeking to justify his acts. <clears throat> Good citizens, in its wisdom, the Minor Council has approved the reopening of trade links with the coastal cities of the Barbary Coast. A new agreement has been signed with the Bay to ensure your safety. The price of perfection is not measured in coin. Well, actually, yes, it is. I may be expensive, but my goods are worth the extra quatrice. I've never spoken shoddy merchandise. Gatlas Morto Visconti bought 300 of my fine estates. Salute, bello mio. Come stai? You back to see me already? 
Desolato, mia cara, but I am not here to play. I must speak with Antonio. It's urgent. Antonio! Ezio's here! Ezio, is everything all right? Carlo Grimaldi and the Barbarigo are in league with the one they call the Spaniard. They're going to murder the Doge and replace him with one of their own. They will have all of Venezia, their entire fleet, in their grasp. And they call me a criminal. Then you'll help me. You have me on your side, brother. And the support of all my men. And women. Grazie, amici. But, Ezio, I must warn you. It's not going to be so easy this time. Palazzo Ducale is the most heavily guarded building in Venezia. Nothing is impenetrable. <laughs> this is why we like you, Ezio. Come, let's go take a look. We'll come up with a plan. This business with the Doge. Terrible. Though, treachery like this no longer surprises me. When I was a child, we were taught that the nobles were just and kind. I believed it. Though my father was only a cobbler, and my mother a scullery maid, I aspired to be much more. I studied hard. I persevered. But the nobles would never have me. If you are not born one of them, acceptance is impossible. So I ask you, Ezio, who are the true nobles of Venezia? Men like Carlo Grimaldi and Marco Babarigo. No! I say we are the thieves and mercenary and whores. While we work to save this city and its people, the nobles seek to make it their plaything. This is my art so terrible.
licensed to be a boy and violate the rules. Hey, have you not heard the rules? The fact you are evidently lost, terrified with the rabbit. That if you should buy two or more treaties, I'll throw it. to all the disagreeing. Due to the shortage of funds after the recent campaign in defense of the Republic's foreign interests, a levy has been imposed. Get away. We need to scout the palazzo carefully, see it from every angle. We just might find a way in. I know of a tall campanile behind the palazzo. Or we might find a way to climb the back of the basilica. Do you have any ideas? I assume the front door is out. <laughs> Va bene. We'll try the front door as well, Saputello. Let's go. So, what do you think? We're not getting in this way. They'll have time to murder the Doge before we're able to get through all these guards. It's this way. Look at that. Archers everywhere. And the walls are impossible to climb on this side. Fall in.
I've traditional remedies and the wisdom of the Arabi. <laughs> Bene, we're in luck. Looks like there's a perfect path up the scaffolding to the roof of the basilica. Shall we? Up this way. Ezio, look! Isn't that him? Grimaldi! Don't you understand what I'm offering you, signore? Listen to me, please. Or this will be your last chance. How dare you! I'm sorry. Mi dispiace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only looking out for your safety. We're running out of time. There's no way through this fence, and there are guards everywhere. Diavolo! Fall in. It's impossible. There's no way in or out for men. Only birds. Yes. Birds. Where are you going now? To see my friend Leonardo. Power doesn't die. It's passed on.
Come forward. Crazy. <laughs> Merda, stronzo! I need your help, Leonardo. Does it work? What? What are you asking? Does it work, Leonardo? Can it really fly? I don't know. It's only a prototype. An idea. It's not ready yet. Have you tried it? No. It's too dangerous. To test it, you'd have to leap off a tower. Who would be mad enough to do a thing like that? Leonardo, I think you just found your madman. I need your help, Leonardo. Does it work? What? What are you asking? Does it work, Leonardo? Can it really fly? I don't know. It's only a prototype. An idea. It's not ready yet. Have you tried it? No. It's too dangerous. To test it, you'd have to leap off a tower. Who would be mad enough to do a thing like that? Leonardo, I think you just found your madman. So, how does she work? Have you ever watched a bird in flight? It's not about being lighter than air. It's about grace and balance. You must use your body's own weight to control your elevation and direction. Good luck, Ezio. You flew! See, but not very far. Well, what were you expecting? The machine wasn't designed for distance. All right, look. Let me go over my plans here. Maybe I can find some way to extend the duration of the flight. Ezio, my men tell me Carlo has the poison. We must hurry. Antonio, this is Leonardo, the master inventor who built this... this petrol merda. 
Hey, it's not the machine's fault. It's mine. I've checked and rechecked my blueprints. It's just impossible. I don't know how to extend the flight. Ah, que idea del cazzo! Eureka! Of course! <laughs> Genio! What is he doing now? It rises. It needs fire. Heated air under its wings will lift the machine. Leonardo, what good is one fire going to do? Not one fire, Ezio. A dozen, built all across the city. Enough to carry you from here all the way to the Palazzo Ducale. How? Ah, oh, capisco. My men could do that, but you are forgetting about the guards. Don't worry, I will take care of them. I'll give the order to have my men move in behind you, and hold the locations. They'll light them all up the second the sun goes down over San Marco. This is ridiculous! Vincenzo was supposed to take my shift an hour ago! My wife is going to murder me if I miss dinner again! Hey, Katie Frag. Just go. It's not like we're guarding the doji. What the hell are we guarding, anyway? A shipment from China. Some kind of colored powder they brought over for a big party. Really expensive. You ask me... <laughs> ah. 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 What is your plan? Ah! Oh. Lash! ora! What are you doing anyway? Yeah. 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 Impressive moves. It's time. You did it. It's beautiful. See. Now let's hope your idea works. Because we're nearly out of time. Listen close, Ezio. 
You're going to want to fly from fire to fire. The heat of each one you pass over should lift you back up in the air again. Bene. Careful, though. There's archers out on the roofs tonight. Avoid those arrows, or it will be a short trip. I wish there was some way I could use my sword while flying these things. <laughs> well, you do have your feet free. If you get close enough without taking an arrow in the head, maybe you could kick them off the building. Nice. It's now or never, amico mio. What's that? Don't worry. Probably just kids with firecrackers. Come, it's your move. Signore, don't drink that! You are too late. The Doge is dead. What? Carlo? Apologies, Signore. But you should have listened to me when you had the chance. Seems you have failed, assassin. Forgive me, Signore. I tried. Why? What was it all for? <laughs> Assassino! Assassino! He's killed the Doge! The Doge is dead! It takes one assassin to kill another, it seems. We kill thinking it's best for us. Do we not, Messer Ezio? I do this not for myself. Compio questo sacrificio per il bene superiore. Requiescat in pace. You... You killed me? You killed me?! Get in!
Ezio! Dio mio! You're alive! I is it true? They say you killed the Doge. I was trying to save him, Leonardo. But the truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Do you have a mask I can wear? Of course, of course. Somewhere in here. Grazie, amico mio. And I have something for you. Oh, more of the Codex. Aha. Uh -huh. This one's quite complex. Hmm. It's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco, but as small as a hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. Let's build it and find out. What on earth is he up to? You've done me good, brother. Macerto, but I'm sure your return was not just to play with new toys. Is it about this terrible new dodge they've installed? Marco Barbarigo. Then you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. I've seen him quite a bit lately at a, a mutual friend's. I'd look for him there, in the Dorsoduro district, to the south. Ask for Sister Theodora. Sister? Well, um... <clears throat> in a way. Yes, Sister. And Ezio, you can't be carrying weapons out there today. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, how about that mask? Not a very good buffoon, is he? <laughs> Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Theodora! Meet the most uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah. Sister Theodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come, join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. <coughs> Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole so, her money! So, Messer Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him!
don't come any closer, or I will carve up another one. Mercy, mercy. Who the hell are you? Get away from me! You have our gratitude, Ezio. Why is it wherever you go, trouble falls? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to rid Venice of Marco Barbarigo. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but... Why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> well, whoever said I wasn't? Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church but grew disillusioned by the believers of this city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depths of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized, so I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. Among other things, I'm sure. Signore, signore! Come on, come all! The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. You'd best get to it, Ezio. Signori, signori, this may be the easiest challenge yet. <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. Ladies, here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the golden mask.
You're all looking lovely this afternoon. Hello. You won't bother us again, will you? I trouble you for a ribbon. You no shame. Come is time, man. Have anything for <laughs> me, belle mia? here. You've proved yourself a favorite of the ladies and are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time. Step right up. Come on, come on. Welcome, welcome. The rules of the game are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field, and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag three times, and the golden mask may yet be yours. We have a winner! You've protected your flag and captured the enemies. You've proven yourself a warrior without fear and inch ever closer to victory. Welcome, benvenuti. Are you ready to test yourselves with a game of speed and endurance? Many challenges lie in your path. The game is simple. But finishing it, near impossible. Start when you're ready. The first contestant to beat the course record is one step closer to the golden mask. The winner! You've proven yourself the fastest and strongest in Venezia. You are now one step closer to the grand prize. <laughs> 